I bring all my equipment. And like, just can, you never know what's going to happen. And you never know what you're going to need. So I got a whole backpack. I got um, two cameras, a couple lenses, um, flashes and batteries on deck for days. You always need to be prepared because there's nothing worse than getting to a show and being like, oh my god, my battery's about to die, or like, oh my god, I ran out of room on this memory card. It's like, that's not helping me look professional. <laughs> fascinated with photography at a really young age. I became probably introduced to photography and when my grandpa gave me this exact Polaroid, which I would just go around the house taking pictures of anything that I thought was cool. And then in high school it got super serious. I joined the photo club. I started taking pictures for my high school newspaper, my high school yearbook. That's also when I was really discovering my love for live music as well. And I would go to all these like local grimy venues just to listen to music and I would bring my camera every time and just shoot the artist performing. And once I started doing that, I was like, wow. I was like, this is the coolest thing I could ever do. This is such a fun job. I'm making art, I'm seeing live music and like we're collaborating and I just thought it was really something that I would want to do for the rest of my life. But no matter what city, I've been in Philly, New York, Portland, it's always kind of the same. I am one of the few females in like the pit, the photo pit at almost every concert and at least I would say every concert before we would go into the pit I would get all these guys around me like looking at me and they'd say something like you know it's gonna get pretty crazy in there right and I'd be like yeah dude I've been doing this for enough time I think I'll be okay you know what they're thinking and it just kinda like you realize that you're not one of them and they're not going to see you as one of them. There's this one worst part. Um, I think it was in Philly. And I was in the photo pit with a bunch of guys. And the artist was about to stage dive into the crowd. And I was right underneath him about to get like the coolest shot of him flying in the air. And then this older photographer in the pit like blocked me as if to like save me from getting hurt. He was probably a dad and I like looked like his daughter and he was like, oh my gosh, this girl's gonna get hurt. I get this guy that comes up to me and is like, so how did you get your media pit? In like such a snarky way as if to say like, are you just having sex with like everybody in the band so you could have a cool little photo pass? And that stuff hurts. It, it's like really offensive. Like you see me and you see me as like it's just someone that would want to have sex with the artist and not as someone that is just as capable as getting the photos that you are. Like I'm here for the same reason you are, dude. And that attitude is just something that has really kind of put a light on where we're at. But it also is like a big motivator, because I want to be like, like after I had that conversation with that guy, I was like, I'm going to go in there and take the best damn pictures I've ever taken in my life, and I'm going to take them better than you. People ask me all the time who I've worked with and it's like who haven't I worked with like I've been so blessed between these past like three different cities I've lived in I keep a, a wall on my studio that I try to get like mementos of everybody that I've shot Blink-182, uh, Journey, uh, Alice Cooper, <laughs> Iggy Azalea, Ariana Grande, Nelly, Flo Rida, 
There's this one portrait I took of Kanye West in Philadelphia, and that has been huge in kind of boosting my street cred. It's like at the top of my website, because when people see someone so famous and they say, oh, she's worked with him, she can do anything. I think having it out, but like make it so it's like purposely out. There we go. Uh, how far? Alright, um, three, one, two. These are the two we took straight on. Uh, I think I want a little curve. Like that? Yeah. That's the one I like. Yeah, that one. Mark that one. Okay. If there's little girls right now growing up and seeing that like the career that they're interested in is very male dominant, you have to kind of be the change. 